if you are from Atlanta and you are in the real estate space, trying to get in the real estate space, trying to make things happen, but you're running into an issue uh, getting enough deal flow your way, right? It's 2022, man. We got inventory shortages. We got labor shortages. I mean, there's a lot going on in 2022. It's really thrown the housing market into a mess. But if that's you and you're trying to capitalize on the still incredible low interest rates and get yourself some properties, but you can't seem to put all the pieces together Together, I think you popped over to the right spot because I specialize in helping you. And that's exactly what I'm going to do for one of my clients today on a beautiful duplex. Let's go. This is your show. This is the show where I work for you directly, taking your needs. I'm going through the MLS and I'm trying to find the best possible deal for you guys put down 25 percent that's the perfect way to buy this that's why real estate investing is the greatest industry in the world welcome to the show folks my name is james wise and today's show is for my man kirk kirk is a cvs store manager by day real estate entrepreneur by night right real estate's a great side hustle for a lot of you guys. Why? Because you don't have to quit your day job to do it. You shouldn't quit your day job, right? Number one reason to invest in real estate right now is because the money's cheap, right? But the houses ain't cheap, right? Especially in Atlanta, right? Kirk, you're running into an issue. You can't seem to put it all together because the pricing is so much higher than normal right now. So you're like, hey, man, I can't find anything in my market. I'm going to expand my search. Look outside. Look for some of the best markets in the country. And that's where you came across me because I help people like you do that every day, Kirk. So if Atlanta doesn't have what you need, I'll find what you need. And that's what I've done for you today, brother. Don't worry, by the way. It's like, okay, well, hey, 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 I get it. That's cool, man. There's cheaper properties than there are here in Atlanta, but how do we manage the tenants, James? Don't worry, people. I do, right? I've sold $200 million worth of this stuff, and I run the largest scattered site portfolio of its kind. I can help you. My team does all the groundwork, but it starts here on this show identifying deals, right? So, Kirk, I got a duplex for you that I think you're going to love. Only is going to require about 20 or so thousand dollars out of your pocket. The numbers make sense. In a second, we're going to go over all of them, but but first, I need to let everybody know, if you're down there in Atlanta and you want to work with me to find you better properties, properties that achieve your goals, and you want to get a customized, personalized video like Kirk is getting, after the show, click the notes below, book a free call, my team will get you started. Because this video was not released publicly for months after I sent it to Kirk, right? So it's not like this property is still available. With that said, let's go to a quick break. Don't go anywhere because when you come back, I am going to break down this deal, the market, how the whole thing's going to work in a line-by-line -line basis for you, Kirk. Let's go. Welcome back, folks. This is the part where we actually get into the meat, right? We get into the meat. I see a lot of other people on the internet talking to you all about real estate investing, and they don't ever get into the meat, dude. They're selling the sizzle, but they don't ever sell you the steak. They don't ever actually talk about the deals. They just give you all this, like, Tony Robbins, like, rah, rah, rah crap. We ain't about the rah, rah, rah crap here. We're actually about doing real deals, real deals deals like this one okay this deal 2224 east 31st lorain ohio priced at eighty seven thousand five hundred. all right this one this is a deal folks now we only have one photo and in addition to that we got a little bit of limited info but that's okay i'm going to walk you through that right reason we only have one photo is because it's tenant occupied. That is normal, folks. It is normal for people selling rental properties not to bother the tenants go into their units. Don't worry. They're already living there. We're going to do more due diligence after this video. We're going to get the property inspected, right? You're doing offers contingent on inspections and appraisals, folks. You're not just blindly throwing stuff out there. That would be crazy. Um, you don't want to do that, right? You got to uh, trust but verify in real estate, right? So it's not uncommon for sellers not to bother their tenants and, and bother them for photos, especially in a post-COVID world, number one. Number two, um, I don't know what you're anticipating you're going to see, folks. Here's how it is. You got like low-ish income type tenants in neighborhoods like this and properties like this. Uh, when they move out, 
it's not going to be spectacular. You're probably going to need to like repaint it, uh, redo the floor. So if there's carpet, you're going to replace it or get it down to the wood or vinyl lure, which is what I prefer, which hardens it between tenants, right? Things of that nature, right? So there's really nothing like super important for us to see, right? It's not like there's going to be a gold toilet or something like that, okay? Don't expect there to be like a $4,000 fridge and like uh, hard granite countertops. It's like looking impeccable. Not going to be the case, right? Uh, it's just probably going to be like Home Depot Lowe's quality stuff. No big deal, right? As far as the neighborhood goes, this is in the Cleveland market, Cleveland, Ohio. If you Google best cash flow markets, Cleveland, Ohio always pops up at the top. But this is actually about 30 minutes west of the city of Cleveland. I like this city even better. Low rain, like it for two reasons. One, uh, I think a lot of you guys come to Northeast Ohio to invest in real estate because you're trying to escape like terribly liberal landlord-tenant policies that have kind of been eroding your rights as a landlord, okay? Now, Ohio, we're a red state. However, the city of Cleveland is not as uh, landlord-friendly as the rest of the state is, okay? Still much more landlord-friendly than what a lot, a lot of you guys are used to. Like, I mean, people from California, you're not allowed to evict people for like three years due to COVID. Your taxes are getting doubled every week. And then now they got like a new tax proposal out there where if uh, you leave your property vacant because you're so pissed off over the fact that tenants can steal your properties for three years, so you just leave that thing vacant, now they're trying to tax you additional, uh, additionally for leaving it vacant, right? So if you're trying to escape that, yeah, Cleveland, it's like the most landlord-friendly place in the world. But it ain't Arkansas. If your tenant's late on rent, you can't shoot that bitch. Seriously, that's a law in Arkansas. Google it. I'm, I'm just kidding. It's not, it's not really a law. Did you, did you really Google it? That'd be, that'd be messed up if you did. Anyway. Cleveland is much more landlord friendly than where a lot of you are focused on, but the city of Lorraine is actually even more landlord friendly. So I like it for that reason, number one. Number two, I like Lorraine because the pricing is typically better because when people are Googling it, they hear Cleveland, 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 Cleveland Cavs, Cleveland Browns, Cleveland Indians or Guardians, depending on how woke you are these days, right? All of the stuff you hear Cleveland, you don't ever pay attention to the surrounding areas, right? Like the Cleveland market, the city of Cleveland, folks, it's like 340,000 people living in Cleveland itself. That metro area, Holton Wise Services, we're looking at like three to four million. So it's a very small, um, like sub sub market in our greater market, but it gets all the attention, which drives prices up. And it's 2022, prices are getting driven up everywhere, right? So with Lorraine, I like it better. One, I think it's more landlord friendly. Two, I think the prices are better. And then number three, uh, they're getting a couple new naval yards that are probably coming in, right? That's really going to help this area, right? Uh, that is just something great. You know, there's going to add like three, 4,000 jobs. So I totally dig that. So dig the market. It's like a C-ish uh, grade market, right? So you're going to get, you know, decently low income tenants, but pretty reasonable to manage, right? You go Section 8 or cash paying, both work well. Now, as I said earlier, we're dealing with a little bit of limited info on this one. Uh, first thing I told you about was the pictures. That's normal. Uh, what is not normal is I do not have the rent amount for you, the current rents. I'm going to go over the market rents, which is much more important than the current rents anyway. Uh, we're going to have to do more due diligence to get the current rents. It's not really that important in the grand scheme of things. Uh, what you should really be buying, folks, is a market rent. You shouldn't be buying a current rent. That's just like what the one tenant is paying at a small period in time over your grand scheme of the investment, right? With this particular one, the seller wants uh, to have the buyer sign an NDA. That's pretty wild to have somebody sign an NDA just to figure out how much you're renting your fucking duplex for. Uh, but whatever, right? We'll have to handle that through the due diligence process, much like your inspection. But long term, this thing is a banger, dude. We're looking at uh, two two bedroom units here that should have a market rent of seven ninety five, right? So fifteen ninety, nineteen thousand nine or nineteen thousand eighty coming in for the year, right? After calculating your fixed and variable expense estimates that should be normal, right? And this is assuming Holton Wise is handling the management for you. Have sold $200 million worth of this stuff, folks. I have thousands of tenants. I've done this thousands of times. We know what we're doing. I think on average, a property like this should clear you a little bit over 10 k for the year. Now, as far as price goes, they're asking 87 and a half. I am sorry, but it is pie in the sky if you think you're going to take that one down guaranteed to be a bidding war. Dude, I just submitted an offer the other day on a property very similar to this uh, in this neighborhood, 
and I submitted it. My offer is like 5K above list, and then the listing agent's like, yeah, sweet. This is the sixth offer I've got on this thing today. Very much anticipate the same thing happening here, right? So I believe you should come in heavy, 95K, right? You got to come in heavy to try to lock this one up. We may get lucky and be able to beat them down a little bit post-inspection. There's always something they never disclose on the disclosures that we find in the inspection, and we could beat them up a little bit. Uh, but there's going to be people fighting over this one. The numbers are just freaking amazing, right? So 95K, uh, you only got to put down 23750 The bank kicks in the rest, right? That is another reason you should be investing in real estate, man. F Bitcoin! F NFTs! F freaking investing in your girlfriend's Etsy shop, people. Real estate allows you to utilize other people's money. You can't get somebody to loan you $71,000 over 30 years to start a freaking Etsy shop selling dream catchers. That'd be insane. But you can do it with real estate, right? Which should mean this will probably pencil out about a 27% return on your cash, folks. Let's do the dang thing. Let me know. Thanks for watching. Subscribe to Holton Wise TV for more financial information, education, and entertainment.